put them back on the same way. My apologies in advance for this video. I had some camera issues. I think it was got too warm from the sun, but we'll give you the best we can. Now here's my 2020 Heritage that I'm stored in my trailer because my garage is full of stuff. I'm gonna do work out here today to adjust the clutch. So we're gonna pull that onto the driveway here, put it on the wheel dock, be able to stand up and use it. And I've got some tools. I'll give you a list of those and do the clutch adjustment out here in the driveway. All right, here's the tools we're gonna to be using. I've got a deep socket, 11 16 um, with a ratchet on it. I've got 11 16 wrench, and then I've got uh, a screwdriver to uh, take the clip off on the adjuster. I've got a T25, and I also brought the set just in case another size, a T27 to take the derby cover off. This is a quarter inch torque wrench. It'll do inch pounds, which is what we gotta do to put this back together. And here's an adapter for me to use the quarter inch uh, torque wrench onto the 3 8 inch 11 16 socket. All right, here's the bike out. We got it in the wheel dock. All right, there's the product if you wanna know. And uh, when you check the free play on the lever, supposed to pull this out and hold the handle just a little bit there should be on 16th to 1 H um, free play here I tried it I need both hands to do it on video but I tried it and I've got none here whatsoever and that free play is adjustable here which will be taken apart and then if that doesn't get it which I don't think it's going to get it we're going to be open the derby cover here for the uh, primary and adjusting the clutch and uh, the reason is I had this um, got repaired from an accident they took the uh, replaced the frame and put all this stuff back in a new frame and um, that I had they got hit by a car in March of 2022 here and um, so uh, when I got it back this clutch handle comes almost all the way out before it starts to engage so there's like no free play to the thing so I need to do that I want it to catch closer to here so my hand is not totally open when I go to do this so anyway we're gonna start by checking the uh, slack of the cable adjustment first but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna just just for my own curiosity go into the primary and uh, physically adjust the clutch well, the bike needs to cool down before we open the derby cover but in the meantime we're going to try this adjustment for the free play that's done in here these two clips one here and one down here hold this cable against the frame we'll undo those clips to get some room here then we're going to lift this up lift the plastic up and expose the the adjuster here so I'm going to start by removing this clip. It actually went flying when I pulled it off there, so so much for an easy one on that one. The other one came off a little better here. All right, so next we have to lift this up. There it is. Now, we have to release this clip. All right. So the back side will pull out, which should relieve the pressure off of this. All right. Push that clip in out. I apologize for the background noise. I have landscapers in doing work around my property, and they are running a chipper behind me. I get you better. 
of view here. And this here. Alright. What's that? I don't even notice it. Alright, this uh when I squeeze these together, it allowed me some additional free play up here to handle. So I can get that 16th to an eighth that I need. So right, we're getting the ability to free play now. What I did was I pulled these two together. I need two hands to do it. It's hard to do it with one. But I pulled this up to the spring here, which we're going to be locking when we adjust the thing here. And that movement allowed the free play to happen. We got people here chipping brush up in my driveway, so that's why the garage is blocked and we're making a lot of noise. I pulled these together now, okay? Tighten, rub this tight, and I pushed the lock back in to keep it there. We need to do that before we open the derby cover and start on the transmission. The clutch adjustment on the newer Harleys are a lot easier than what they used to be. Simply push out the red clip and press the spring and release it, and it does the slack adjustment. Past adjustments meant using wrenches to loosen the locking nut, turn the adjuster to the desired slack, and then retighten the locking nut. All right, this is a T25 Torx on here. We're going to take them off in a star pattern, and then we'll put them back on the same way. The O-ring seal is right here, as you can see it, and uh, I'm going to set this down as it is, set the bolts aside, this is the adjusting screw, takes a 730 seconds Allen wrench, this is the lock not for it so i left it in gear some people say do and don't but what i've heard is leave it in gear so it's easier to break this loose <clears throat> see it's worked well over 70 inch ponds i can tell you that It did break loose, so I'm going to loose it up here. Now, next is to take this Allen key and turn this in. Until it stops, which is stopping already. Which is telling me this was too tight. Now. Turn it just to where it touches, okay? And the weight of it should try to drop that down. And then we're going to turn it out a half to one quarter turn. I'm going to do it a half. And we're going to lock this back down. I'm going to use a wrench to get it started here while I hold the, the nut. Alright, and we're supposed to squeeze the handle three times. should set her. 
My other camera's got too warm from the sun. So I'm going to try and do this with my handheld, which is going to be a little shaky. Anyway, I'm going to take this out. I set my torque wrench, they said, anywhere between 70 and uh, 100 and some inch pounds. I got it set at 85. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on there and tighten it up to that spec. All right, I'm going to unlock this, let the spring come up. Need two hands. All right, the spring is up. We're going to put this back together and then lock it in like that. It should be good. That gives us pretty much the free play. We'll take it from there. Okay, we're going to put the derby cover back on. Again, I'm going to need two hands, so we're going to have to put this down. Well, we're going to tighten this down in a star pattern and take her for a ride. Well, I don't know how much it says this SD's card. I'm having a couple of camera troubles today. I don't know if too much sunlight on it, but anyway, I'm going to put this sleeve and everything back on, flip this back to the frame. And then take it for a ride. We'll see where we go from there. Okay, we're back together. Everything's on. I'm gonna take her out of the wheel dock. See how the clutch works. Okay, we're back. The ride went well. The clutch is working. It catches about an inch, inch to a half off the handlebar, which is just perfect for me for my hand grip. So it looks like the uh, adjustment went well. Again, my apologies for the video issues with the camera not working and the background noise, the chipper that was running. Thank you again for watching. So give us a thumbs up if you like, subscribe if you like, and we'll see you in another video. Thank you.